All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to Full Buddy Cast. Today, we've got Garage Night with Craig Bentley and Corey Bentley. So what we're going to do with this episode is just like sitting around. You're having beers with your bros. And uh, hopefully those are Cole Street Brewery beers. And you're just hanging out. Maybe you got a growler. You're sitting in the garage and just chatting it up, talking about the week, talking about sports, talking about whatever. And so this is one of our recurring Friday shows. Uh, so, uh, thank you for listening. Um, and please hit up our sponsors as well. We've got our sponsors at Cole street brewery, 1627 Cole street, as well as Mazat lawn, shout out to Andy Cardenas and well, as well as Bordeaux wine bar. We've got some live recordings coming up as well. Live recording at Cole street on, uh, April 13th. That's at 6 PM. And that'll be at Cole Street, uh, 1627 Cole Street, 6 p.m. If you want to come on down and get uh, on the mic, let me know. We'll bring you up. Or if you just want to sit there, have some beers, and just enjoy it, do that too. We'd love to see you. week later, 420, we have it at uh, at Bordeaux Wine Bar as well. So that's at 6 p.m. So looking forward to seeing you guys on that. And uh, without further ado, let's just jump right in. We've got Craig Bentley on the mic. Oi. We've got Corey Bentley on the mic. Hello. And me, Travis Kenny. So we're just going to jump right in. Uh, last week, I really wanted to be a part of something, but it also lands on, and I'm sorry, Nick, poker night. Uh, it's once a month. I'm, so, it's, I'm already committed. I've already committed uh, in, in the weeks coming forward, everybody. So if it's the first Friday of a month, I'm out. Sorry. Love you. I, if it's my brother's uh, funeral, I might make a quick appearance. But other than that, that I, it's poker night. So uh, Nick played. Craig, you went. I did go. Corey, did you go? I did not. Like jerk. I know. <laughs> Neither did I, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Craig, tell me about it. What's, how was it? Dude, it was, it was an awesome show. And I we mean, say I, Nick. It was like, like, what was like? Who is it? Who's Nick? Nick Tanner. Uh, I went to school with him. Enumclaw, Enumclaw grad, ninety nine, along with me. And uh, him and uh, actually, as a matter of fact, a couple other guys are also Enumclaw alum in his band. Really? Um, like, 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 what years? Um, older than us, younger than us? No, I think one same grade as me, also, and then the other ones, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. But they're all, they're all local. I f- believe so. That's cool. I believe and so. It's Black box. Black box. Yeah. And Black uh, box. we we went over there. They were playing at the That's chalet. A good name. That's a sweet name. It is. We went over there playing at the chalet. And what's awesome about it is they do '90s cover. So, I mean, our age bracket, our group, every song that they're singing, it's like you can sing along with it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, what so, songs? Oh, he did. Thumping. Don't go chasing waterfalls, <laughs> and uh, Ooh, that'd be a good I, one. That would be a good one. Uh, Nick, get on it. Yeah, Chumba Wumba. Ch- <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, it was. No, it what was, songs? What's like Nirvana, they Metallica, Metallica, Metallica. Yeah. they got like Pearl Jam and like anything that like. Do they have Creed? Do they have? Do they? Do they he, do the? I would love to hear the Creed voice. Oh, Nick would. Nick would. I have think that he would do a great too. job. Yeah, Nick loves. Nick's That's got later that, than the nineties though. Well, I mean, we could jump around a little bit. You got to do like a, a later show for him to do that. One. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was a good time. Uh, Pete, you know, we had the the cruise going on downtown too. Oh, so there's yeah. a lot of people that walked over there. Um, you know, I'd never been to a concert at the Chalet, and I'm kind of excited that, that was my first one. You said this in the past before. You Is it Chalet or Chalet? Chalet? I don't know. Are you French? Yeah, you said cha- he said chalet. He said chalet. Sh- 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 chalet. We're that's another song you do, Nick. <laughs> Turn to the left. We're playing at the where? Chalet. Sh- 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 chalet. Chalet. I mean, if you you hear listen to his intros, he makes everything sound fancy anyway. Oh yeah, he does. Oi. Oi. And then you, you know yeah, what that is? That's just, Portuguese. Oi, oi, oi. I thought of like a ziggy zaggy ziggy zaggy. You guys didn't think of that. No, no, I didn't. I thought of like ska band punk. Like a ska punk thing, and you just got at a concert, so that makes the most sense. Where <laughs> well, I am a ska punk guy, so you are. <laughs> You're just definitely a ska guy for sure. You got that that horn out and everything. Uh, so did you uh, did you do any stage diving? No. How how many times did you take your shirt off and and <laughs> and flash him at flash him at Nick when he was playing? I was I was. It was too dark. He probably wouldn't have seen me. <laughs> I know. Besides the people that write, I don't know me. if you've seen your skin. <laughs> that is yeah. true. But it is neon white, yeah. <laughs> with a fluorescent orange hue around it. <laughs> it's, it's not his fault. There's no way we tan 
<laughs> it's either yeah. it's either like a bright burnt red <clears throat> or just pale white. It's one or the other. Oh, it's mostly burnt red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, I saw him at the Rainier. I was went in there and just kind of like jump in there. Uh, it was such a busy. I I always feel busy, and maybe I, I hopefully I don't rush through things. And even when I'm like busy rushing through things, I'll run into people. And I'll have quick conversations, and I'll say the wrong thing because I'm rushing my conversation. It just sounds bad. It sounds like oh. And uh, anyway, I feel like I said something later that I was like, "Ooh, that maybe could have been taken wrong to Nick." And I can't remember what I said, but it was more like a. I think I said "good luck" in a way, like as if I didn't think he was going to succeed, which I already knew he was. He would <laughs> like but with it, the band. Yeah, yeah. I was like, like "Good luck, good luck with your little yeah, band." Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Bring a leg. <laughs> you know, but like I wasn't trying to be like poo pooey. I thought that's cool. I wish I could have gone, but uh I did I did feel bad that I couldn't go. So you're saying his next show you'll be there. If it's not on a freaking Friday, uh first week of the month, yes, I am there. All right. We'll we'll, we'll host it, dude. We'll do a full buddy thing. He, he's uh, he's I think he's down for that. We'll get an FBC night. Maybe we'll do FBC night. Hopefully Inslee doesn't shut down things to phase two again. You have him on and release the episode the night of the concert. The night it leads into the concert, the episode. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> boom! Whoa. Um, yeah, but we'll do FBC night. I like making up things that we're gonna do that we probably will never do, but this one we might actually do. We might have FBC night. I think we should start a list on the wall of, of genius ideas that yeah, never get done. That never get done. <laughs> I really would love to do. I've thought about this. I thought this about this actually pre full buddy cast. Um, probably when I started thinking about, man, it'd be fun to do my own show, bring on guests, talk to people. And I was thinking like how I didn't want to edit at all today. And I even told everyone how I didn't want to edit today. And then this happens. My wife comes in. I don't have a car. I didn't think anybody was here. All right. Bye. Love you. Bye. Oh, that stays in. That's going to stay in. Yep. I thought my kid was going to come run in, give you guys hugs, talk to you guys, <laughs> yell. I'm actually editing an episode where my daughter and her friend like talk with their mom. It's a nightmare to edit. <laughs> it is a nightmare to edit. I like, thought that baseball card one we did with the with the Mariana Rivera was a nightmare to edit. Like that was the purpose? You recorded just the conversation of just well, them? Well, I brought them on. I brought her on because she's doing – it's Jenna Brassard. I, you guys – I think mm-hmm. you know Je- Joe and – and Jenna's doing like roller skating and she's getting back into roller skates. I said, Hey, let's talk about it. Well, she said, Can I bring my daughter? I'm like, yeah, I thought she wanted to play with Jacqueline. No, they were she was like, No, let's bring her on and we'll put her on headphones. And so now I've got like these little voices talking back and forth. So I'm trying to edit it to where it's a good for Mother's Day. Like it'll be released probably in Mother's Day. Cause that's she's like, Oh, I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I'm like, Yeah, well, I also just wanted to interview you and not your <laughs> six-year-old kid i like your kid i love harper she's great but it's just so hard to edit um without people just wanting to tear their because it's two little kid girl voices and they get high and screechy and loud and excited kind of like mine so or or craig with harry potter yeah craig talking about harry potter yeah that's good too no i didn't say i didn't say like like out of breath and super excited (laughs) anyway uh talking about fbc night so I always want to do type of a show where, and maybe we'd, maybe we could start doing that, like a like a at the chalet. If I get enough support and get enough people patreoning, by the way, shout out to the three new people that are patreoning: uh, Amanda Keating as one of them, uh, Casey Scott and Cassie Spencer. Uh, Casey's been doing it for a little bit, but she still gets a shout out. But then Cassie Spencer as well, uh, and then Amanda Keating, who listened to it all. She listened to every single episode of Full Buddy Cast. She's. It's taken her since. Wow. Like, Craig wow. has too. It's impressive. I think there. I think there's. There's. There's a plaque that's going to go up someplace, and it's going to be Craig, and then begrudgingly underneath it will be Carrie because they'll be like, I didn't want to listen to each one, <laughs> yeah. and then, and then, and then it will be. Uh, it'll. It'll have Amanda on there too, uh, but anyway, if we're like, hey, and if like on a Friday night, after we get done recording, go down to the chalet, and then. Let's like, set it up like a like a t- like a tonight show, like a talk show, and bring people out okay. and have. I thought people. you were pitching something else, like a Mister Enumclaw, like you were trying to oh. make a whole new thing. <laughs> That's an even that goes on the wall of a genius idea that we'll never do. Real man of genius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
Uh, speaking of Real Man the Genius, I heard somebody was moving uh, recently. How's that? Uh, it's super fun. Are you still moving? Uh, yeah. Because I haven't set up like the internet and the TV, and I don't have some of the stuff in there yet, so it's not fully done. So I'm not staying there yet. Wait. So you wait. So you don't have your internet set up yet? No. When I moved Bobby Martinez's crap for him, me and Mike, we were moving that day. All Bobby did it was his stuff. All he did was just work on setting up his TV and his internet <laughs> while we're moving in couches and beds, like breaking my back. And he's over there just like plugging in his router and this getting his laptop going. Brilliant. So you're just <laughs> how you got away with that? Did he like get you anything, or did he just do like the normal like oh, I'll get you pizza? Yeah, the normal pizza. I'm done moving. I'm done. If you're over, yeah. So is anyone helping you? Just Craig. You've been helping him. Yeah. Obviously, that's nice of you, man. It isn't. He helped me move. Do you know what? I did get a phone call. The other day, I was putting a desk together that, that I had got. Like an Ikea? Uh, and it was better than Ikea. It was less like parts. No- like a Nokia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was less parts. And I got a phone call from Craig's daughter, Kenzie, asking me if I wanted help. She's what? offering her help. That was super nice. But did she want to get paid? No, she was just offering Oh, wow. Help. Yeah. Teenagers is all about, like, what can I do for money? Is well, that- I mean, her birthday is coming up. So. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. But yeah, she was being nice, offering help. Nice. So, so, so new digs. Uh, are you more in there. town? A little further in town? Like where? Like where? It's on McKinley. Are you walking distance? Yeah. Nice. So you're you're within walking distance. Yeah. That's good. Are you uh, getting used? To, it's weird after owning my own house for so many years. Yeah. Like being a like a renting, it's weird for me to rent again. Yeah. Hey, I've I'm, never rented ever. I'm renting now. Yeah. It just e- just ease right into yeah. it. It's not bad. The only thing is, is you do feel a little like. Yes, it's it's renting where if an appliance goes out, typically, you know, the renter will take care of it or like the, the tenant, the owner, I should say. Like when my fence broke, I want to stay off of Scal's radar <laughs> so bad <laughs> that I'm like, me and my dad are out there fixing it. Yeah. Like we had a toilet go out, stay off of Scal's radar. Just I'll just we just replace it ourselves, you know, kind of a thing. So. Yeah, I don't know about you. It would feel weird not to like, not that you would do stuff, but like right. if I wanted to go take out a wall, it was my house. I could do whatever I wanted before. Right. So it's just, it just feels weird. It's like, yeah, I can't. Like, like you don't want to hang up picture frames. Yeah, it felt weird. Paint, you want, I, I even asked, I was like, Am I, can I do this or do that? Because I've never rented before. Yeah. So it just was weird. And what so. did they say? Did they say that you could paint or not paint or I don't I care? I didn't ask if I wouldn't have painted. But would you paint if you could? No. Oh, you like it? Okay. I hate painting. Hey, painting is the worst. Yeah. Painting does suck. Paintings. Okay, well, let me ask you this. I literally just painted my house before I sold it, like six months before I painted it, like vaulted ceilings and yeah. shit. And it was one of the worst experiences of my life. I did it all myself. Wow. It was a wasted week of vacation. So, <laughs> and then I, and then I, and then everything went down, and I sold the house anyway. I was like, I painted it for me, <laughs> and now I have to sell the damn place. <laughs> so, are you, uh, are you thinking like? If you had to, if you had to move somebody, or paint their house, I would move them all day. If it was a three day weekend where you're where you're moving their stuff, or a three day weekend of painting, what are you doing? Like all three days, I was moving. All three days, you're either moving or painting. I I would still move. I hate painting so Gosh, much. Me too. I don't know. That'd be tough because painting you can kind of like go slow and make somebody else do part of the work. Moving though, like no, I'm not gonna yeah. tape. I'll Mo- paint. I'm not gonna tape anything. And I'm not doing trim. But moving, I can hope. You know, you got a couple guys. You got some beers and pizza in between. Like, yeah. If it's a couch, you can be like, oh, my back kind of hurts, and then two other two guys grab that one. Right. It's, it's, it's kind of yeah, rotate. Yeah, you rotate. It's like in a volleyball out. tournament. Yeah. <laughs> like when my back went out when I was helping move Craig. I was like, my back hurts. Get the young guy in here. Yeah. Yeah. Just rotate in. Nice. And so, and but then you also were ta- talking that you were diagnosed with something recently. <laughs> yeah. This is ridiculous, too. So I go, <laughs> I thought I got bit by a spider. And so I was going to the doctor. Like, why? Wait, wait, why? Because I had this, like, big red uh, mark on my back. And it was starting to itch <coughs> and stuff. So I was going to the doctor anyway. And I was like. Was it painful? Yeah, it started to itch and I hurt. told him it was a big spider and, before he yeah. found out. And so I, <laughs> I go to the doctor, and we're, have, we're having this conversation. And then I go, hey, by the way, I, get, I got bit by something. And I showed him. He's like, no, you got shingles. And I was wow. like, what? And he's like, 
And he was like nonchalant about it. And you're like, no, I replaced my roof last week for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, you got shingles, man. And I was like, no, I don't. I'm like, I don't want shingles. Like, yeah. I've heard horror stories about yeah. it. And he's like, no, we'll get you this pills and stuff. And like, he acted like it was no big deal. And luckily, it turned out that like it didn't spread. Like, I've heard stories. Of was it. it shingles or was it a spider bite? Like, it was do you shingles. still? Oh, you okay? I didn't yeah. know. If, I didn't know if you were like, and he didn't even look again. I was like, yeah, no. So it was a spider bite. Yeah, I went back for a follow up. He's like, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> April Fools. Yeah. I gave you those pills for no reason. <laughs> those are placebo pills. But I got—I feel like I got super lucky because it's literally just like two spots. And yeah. I've heard horror stories. They just go all of, over. Like, and people they hurt. are bedridden and like. Yeah. So I feel lucky about well, it. Well, I think they—I still... think they tell you that when you're like, when you're like. Uh, I remember that one of the things about shingles is I remember they were doing like for it felt like a year. Where the safe way, the vaccine, the vaccine. Yeah, they still do that. It's for fifty and up. Yeah, and they talk about it all the yeah. time. I'm not they, there yet, yeah. man. Um, somebody just said, "Masters updates are back." Oh, it's the guy for uh, the Chris Vernon show. Master updates. You guys watching the Masters? You Masters guys? I'll Do flip you over it. I have been watching. I'm not a. I'm not a turn it on, watch it all, all the way through, do I? Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll skip over that. <laughs> anyway, so you got shingles. So you're good now. Yeah. I'm, or were you just I'm trying a, to get out of I, moving? I've. Well, <laughs> it's I, his only I, stuff. I, I did everything anyway, and I didn't stop work. I didn't oh, get really? out of anything. Wow. But I just feel like every time I get something, that they, I get told that it's like, oh, that's for old people. I'm like, yeah. And then like I have my gallbladder out, and they're like, that's usually women. Like it's usually always something else. And I'm like, no, I. Yeah, it's happening to me. My body's just falling apart. Yeah, old man. Oh, you had the emergency uh, appendix appendicitis. I don't, an, I don't have an appendix or a gallbladder. You had. I remember that. I remember when it was like that was like ten years ago or that something like that, ago. where you just kind of got rushed to the hospital. I'm running out of internal organs to be taken away. <laughs> <laughs> you start asking for people yeah. that. So I don't know if you get the bit. vaccine, man. You might be one of those like people that would have like a horrible reaction to it too. The, the, the shingles. Did you? Happen. Oh, did you? Did you get the vaccine? I have one of two, and then the shingles popped up because of that. You think? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I don't want to go down a full rabbit hole with you, but I got on Reddit afterwards. Oh, dude, it's so and there's, scary. There's a ton of people that have gotten one of two and ended up with shingles in my age range. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna. I, my age range is all heart attacks. And I got a horrible heart from the vaccine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm t- it's t- it, <laughs> what? Dude, I have the, not heard that at all. This vaccine is scary as frick. Uh, my mom is just sending me text after text of just like, "Hey, read this. Read this. this is kind of scary. This is kind of scary." I feel like this vaccine. I played enough slot machine games in my day to where you're getting a bonus round and you have a big wheel and you spin that wheel. And I think it's <laughs> either you get like some small credit or like <laughs> bankrupt or. <laughs> Or you get some big prize. And I think the big prize is like you don't get anything and it's perfectly fine and you don't get COVID and everything's great. But that's like the small sliver of the wheel, the smallest one. And then the other ones are like, you get shingles. Or, <laughs> you, or, just to, or you, you just have to choose the right vaccine. Yeah. It can't be that AstraZeneca one. <laughs> Dude, what if I get it in like the opposite? Like I'm just like just full head of hair. Dude, that's just, what I was, oh, I'll be awesome. dude, I was like, yeah, what, uh, what I was talking to Brandon about, I was yeah. like, he's like, dude, no, it's, it's gonna, you know, turn out it's horrible. And I was like, what if it turns the other way and I get superpowers? Right. You don't know. You don't know. Well, if I just become a superhero, dude, I'm never gonna work here again. That's why I told that, him. Just reversal, age reversal. Next thing you know, you're Benjamin Button. Benjamin Button vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> My luck would be like a shitty superpower though. <laughs> So I could read people's minds. That would annoy me. I would love to read people's yeah, minds. They get annoying after the while. No, not at all. Wait, maybe you explain mine. You, you hear all the thoughts at once. If you heard, if you heard all the thoughts, but if you could look at somebody and, and like, just focus on mind? one person, yeah, that's different. That'd be all right. Yeah. But if I was in a, a, a auditorium with like a thousand people and I was hearing everybody's thoughts, can I tell you something I've yes. been doing to try to to see if anybody can read minds? Is at work people walk by me and I think really weird shit. Yeah. So if to they call if they, me out on it, then I'm like, no. Oh. Or, or they kind of give a look. They're like, what? Yeah, then I know you can read mine. You just outed yourself. Yeah, that's, that's actually really good. Yeah, I do that at work. Like some 75-year-old man walks by, you're like, mm, that guy looks good. I wish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Ha. If, hubba, he, hubba. if he turns over, I'm like, oh, I know you got a superpower, <laughs> son of a bitch. Comes and hands you his number. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would definitely use that. But if I did, 
I would immediately move the family down to Las Vegas. Yeah, you would use it for that. I would play poker in the poker rooms <laughs> non That's a good point. stop. I and, and you'd be like the auditorium thing, I'd have to find small poker rooms, like not big ones. I'd have to somehow work my way up to the high like the high stakes poker and then make a name for myself and then I'm getting invited over to like these poker guys one on one and they don't see me coming. Like I'm just like You versus Danny Negrano. Yeah. Phil Helmuth just throw he just he's just that guy, that guy does read minds. He does read minds. That would be a good matchup. He oh two mind readers head to head. <laughs> the the only thoughts going back and forth is I hope this guy doesn't realize I'm reading his mind right now. <laughs> I actually I can hear you. I can I read your mind. You're reading my mind. You get out of my mind. You're in my mind. Do you just want to play the game right here just in the head? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that's gonna go on as genius ideas on the wall that will never happen. Get superpowers from vaccine. Genius idea. Genius idea. I just keep getting the vaccine until you get one. <laughs> can, I, can I get all the vaccines? Like every brand, just all of yeah. them. Has anybody asked that yet? Can you get more than one? I don't know. You're just you're like I'll take I'll take two Pfizer's and three Modernas, please. There's, to there's go four different varieties. Just yeah. get all four. It's all at once. It's this... like seven shots. Yeah. You're just getting a horse tranquilizer needle. Just boom. Just like <laughs> your Jose Canseco just <laughs> juicing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'd go it's for it. Idea. It's a great idea. Hey, by the way, speaking of baseball cards and baseball players, what do you think of that one right there? That Beckett. Remember that Beckett when we were kids? That oh, black bow? and white yes. bow Beckett. Got yes. that at a card shop. The one where he's wearing the... Uh, you need to frame that. That's sweet. You, you, on the back, I'm it's like... i surprised it's lame like that. That's not... Hey, I bought that for five bucks, though. It wasn't like I got it for like... If I got it for like 200 bucks, yeah, I would. But but no, I just kind of tossed it over there. Uh, I did get a Bo Jackson rookie card, too. And that's like worth $2. But it's R- in mint rookie, condition. Rookie baseball, rookie football. It's rookie the one baseball. half and half. Oh, that one? He has a half and half card, doesn't he? Just like Deion Sanders had that half and half football baseball card. I don't know, but I'll tell you this. My friend was like, hey, you should go check out this baseball card shop with me. So I did. It's up in, like, Kent. <clears throat> it's actually in some guy's garage, but he's got so much stuff. And so when I walked in there, uh, he, I'm telling you, it's got cases. I mean, you you guys remember when, when we were kids, we used to go to a card shop, glass cases, you know, Reggie's. everything. Yes, yes. And uh, But behind it, this guy had, like, Box after box after box after box after box of 88 Bowman, 89 Donruss, 90 Upper Deck. Like, you could buy individual packs of baseball cards for, like, three bucks a pop. So you might get that Griff, that Griffey Rookie card, you know? like like it, and, and to open these, some of these are, like, like, waxy. Some of these are cardboardy. Like, it's it was just crazy to, like feel those types of cards in your hand again but they also call that that was like the trash i didn't did you know that when we were growing up collecting cards they considered that the garbage era (laughs) where it was just nothing they didn't really have any cool inserts it may say rated rookie it might say like all-star you know card but other than and and if you go buy a complete set now you're not getting every player on that baseball team you're getting like maybe five or six players per team. And then those five or six players may have like two or three variations of cards. And uh, you might get some like past heroes, but you're not going to get like every pitcher. Every When we were kids, like you would get like every single, like guys you never even heard of before and you, you could get their baseball card. So that I think that's why they also call it trash is that you just had a plethora of cards that you wouldn't really care about. I know you guys. I guess you guys don't care. That, that's well, I was that was for fo- Brad. I was football cards. That's for, for Brad. Brad, that was for you. He did baseball. I did baseball. What was your favorite card or favorite uh, type of card to get? I always uh, well, I I had a lot of the cheap uh, Donruss cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones back then you were looking for was like that that air that like uh, was it leaf or yeah. leaf air cards. Those were decent. Those are, back yeah, then. yeah, oh yeah. Did you get the Billy Ripken? <clears throat> the Billy. I think that was Fleer. Flair, okay. Where, where, where he had uh, the FU on the end of his bat. I remember seeing that. I did not have that card. I wanted that card so bad. Wow. But I'm sure you, you could find it now. 
You're a football. Most, most football was pro set cards, mm-hmm. but I enjoyed the pro sky set. the sky box cards that were coming out. Box, yeah. And then pro set had the little booklets, like when they took players and they tried to put out uh, like don't do drug messaging. <laughs> Remember the booklets? You could it was like three or four pages of a card, but it was a little card size, so it was like Dan Marino telling you not to do drugs. Yes, I had a bunch of those. Cards. Baseball did uh, do not drugs also did from they? the Griff. Do not dog. Do not drugs. Do not do drugs. Do, 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 do not read. Do books. not do drugs. Do not read books is what do, Craig doesn't yeah. do. <laughs> Do, do not drugs. <laughs> Got it, ma. <laughs> this is this is your brain on drugs. This is Craig. Any questions? Fry the egg. <laughs> Fred McGriff, crime dog. Come on. Okay, sorry about do, do not drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Unless that was, you know what? I will only give you credit. If that was like some spell you could cast in like Hogwarts, <laughs> would do not drugs. <laughs> but then drugs appear. It's the opposite. <laughs> that's, that's my superpower after I get the vaccine. Yeah. Uh, Just making drugs appear. No, do, being able to do. No. One night, me and my uh, daughter, we were driving around. She wanted to go to a, a store, so I, I went to a store. We went to a bunch of stores, you know, went shopping. And I will stop in at like the Rite Aids and the even the Bartell drugstores and the Fred Myers and, and just see what I can grab. Now, like the baseball cards? cards and football cards. Yeah. Okay. And so <laughs> brushes. Yeah. Just, hair, yeah hair, ties. Hair, hair ties, some scrunchies. <laughs> There's a lot of things to grab in stores. So yeah. just worth wondering what you're grabbing. Lip, well, yeah. Just, yeah. I was, it was a grab. Lip, it was lip a grab. Bomb. Lip, yeah. You get, to those, you get to those dollar sections, you can grab a lot of you stuff. You can grab more, more stuff. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, I stopped in at this Rite Aid, and as I when I, it was in Auburn, and I when I got in there, I'm like, "Hey, do you guys have any baseball or football call- cards?" You sound like an idiot. You sound like the biggest dumb idiot in the world uh, when you go up to some cashier who's like 20, and and then you're like at a Rite Aid, and you're like, "Hey, do you have any base- baseball or football cards?" Like it's like you kind of feel like a meth addict because everyone's buying this, buying this stuff. <laughs> you were in Auburn, and yeah. she goes, and she goes. She goes. Actually, I just put, I just hung some up. So go over to this end this end display. So I went and grabbed them. They were they were uh, three. I I was nice. I left a couple. I, w- I wanted to buy them all. They were all like eight ninety nine, and they were these three pack three three packs that came in. Uh, one sink one solid long pack. Anyway, uh, I opened them all. Brought them home. Opened them all. Had fun with them. You know, in a sense where I sleeved up the ones I liked. Got a got some pretty cool cards. Got like a Tom Brady. Uh, that was in the Tampa Bay jersey, which is pretty sweet. Anyway, I go to this card shop, and this dude's selling these packs for $55 a piece, and people are buying them. And I had no clue. <laughs> I, w- I wanted it on all back. I wanted to go back in time. <laughs> I'm like, I could have made like a hundred and something bucks off of I I'll buy them all. Why do you think everybody's standing in line? I'm so That's pissed. That's what they're all doing. I'm so pissed. So pissed. They're either doing that, reselling them, or they're doing breaks. Yeah, breaks are fun. Breaks at like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Not all of them. I go with this guy Hit Factory Sports. <laughs> they they got to do it at that time. That's when oh. everybody's shopping during the day. At night, they're doing. Breaks. Oh, because because Brad did one outside of a of a Fred Meyer. Didn't he like go and there was like nobody, like like he was waiting out outside. He's, I believe he's went a couple times now. And the vendor never showed the up. The vendor never showed up. But, <laughs> but you have this line of people. The vendor and drove by and, and it was like, nope. And there's yeah. one there's one guy sitting at a table doing live breaks the oh, whole time. Oh, really? Yeah. So there's a guy who brings down his own yeah. boxes? That's yeah. pretty ballsy. But That's a genius With move. a line of people that want cards. Yeah. Can't get them, but you have cards sitting at a table. It's yeah. like one versus 100. That's pretty ballsy. That, yeah, that is ballsy. You know, that would be like, it's legal. That would be like... In the in the days of like prohibition or me, it's like yeah, this is gonna open up. It's government sanctioned. You can get your beer, but I got my table of beer yeah. if you guys want some. <laughs> <laughs> but um, all right, Craig, let's move on to you since we talked about moving and shingles with Corey. Sure, Craig. I've uh, never had shingles. Brother versus brother. I have had a lot of people that have messaged me, and I hate when people say that. I had a lot of people message me. Okay, listen, I had a few people message me. All right, just a few, but they said it was pretty crazy how similar Corey is with Adam, and how similar you and I are. 
And whether it's older brother or younger brother. Cooler brother. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, two of us are sitting here. Yeah. <laughs> it, but the funny thing Adam, was is that you? you guys are pretty... <laughs> yeah. Two, two, two V1 on that one. Uh, but... What, what what had come up in the pre in the pre show? We have a pre show. Everyone, just kidding. We don't. We just kind of chat I while I set up the equipment. <laughs> um, but uh, Craig or Corey had said that there's a tattoo idea. But I want you to explain this tattoo. Like what? And then you said, "Oh yeah, Travis and him, your, his brother would totally get it." What's this tattoo? I would love to explain it, but I will have Corey explain it because he does way better. Well, at it. it was a tattoo that was suggested to me. Because of the brother episode, I was talking to somebody about it. Oh, really? It was based off of the episode? Yeah. Oh, okay. And they were like, for me and Craig to get a tattoo, and it would be brother, brother. And so on one leg, it would be one person would get Hulk Hogan, and it would just say brother. And then the other leg on the other person would be Macho Man and would say brother. <laughs> and so when you were together, you put your legs together, and it would be brother, brother. Oh. Yeah. So I think you guys should do <laughs> Brother, brother? Yeah. Brother. We, can, we can all go do it. Like me and you would get one, so the same tattoo, at the, at the same. <laughs> but then, uh, they get Corey, yeah, mm. and then we could all stand together, like four of us. That'd be really cool. <laughs> you could hold see, hands too. He seem into it. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? What would you guys? Would you guys rather? If you guys get a tattoo, do you guys have a tattoo? I have two of them. Do you really? Mm-hmm. Is it softball related? No. What is it? What what? Family related. I have my kids on one arm and uh, my family crest on the other. Do you have a family crest one? I do not. I don't have any tattoos as of yet. Are you planning on getting any? I've been thinking about certain stuff, yes. Is there... Nothing set in stone. With fantasy football or anything like that, is there any, like, idea... If you were to become, like, a three-year-in-a-row champion, would you, like, a three-peat... Would you get a tattoo? No. Would you get a three-peat fantasy football chat? No? No, The reason I don't have any tattoos is because there's never been anything that I was like, oh, I need to do that. Right. But... I, there's been like some phys, uh, stuff that I've been thinking about back and forth doing was like philosophy type quotes and stuff. That just I, a rib cage one where just it's just like full, this long. No, it's all or nothing. It's gonna be a full body tattoo. Just oh, of, a full of, body of, tattoo. Of quotes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like gonna be like a book. <laughs> I I kind of like the idea of like a magic eight ball. If tattoo you were... that you can shake and it. <laughs> yeah, something like that. But 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 it would be. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the people that do that on their forum. No, you would just you would just put like a sleeve of like all the different answers of it, and then if anyone then you comes, turn. In, and just how intimidating would you be at a bar? You're just ponied up at some at some bar, just drinking, and somebody comes and talks to you, and they ask you a question, and you don't say anything. You just sip your beer, and then just point to the answer <laughs> on your arm, whatever it is, like. Like outcome unclear, <laughs> and uh, uh, absolutely like you don't say a word. You go, you you get brought up on the stand. You witness some murder, and you have to go on the stand, and you're sitting there, hand on the Bible, and they're asking you a question, and you're just. But uh, you, you never pay attention to what you point to, though. You just randomly. <laughs> you you couldn't you couldn't pick what you point to. You'd yeah. have to be random. just randomly. You want another beer? Hmm. <laughs> outcome unclear. Or <laughs> or what if you did? Because people are into not only. Like uh, tattooing, typically they're also into piercing. So if you somehow pierced in a needle, like a like I was talking about earlier about the wheel, and you had a spinner, <laughs> and you would, just, and so your pierce was just a spinner, and you would just spin and whatever it landed on. I that's you would do. one thing I can guarantee I'll never get a piercing. A piercing, yeah. Have you ever got a piercing before? No, Craig? never. Like not even not when it was cool to get it in your ear. It was never cool because our dad told us yeah. it was never cool. Oh, we were told yeah. if we got our ears pierced that he would rip them out. Really? Yeah. Like recently too. I, he'd probably still try. Yeah. Wow. He, nose? Could, he, he couldn't do it anymore, but he tried. Did you say nose? Like fine, I'll get a nose one. <laughs> I never it occurred to me to get any piercings when I didn't ever wanted to. I'm gonna. I Back got, in the day, I would think I probably thought about getting some kind of belly button. Well, yeah, I probably thought about getting the cool hoop <laughs> one in your ear. Craig, but I, it Craig actually been... got a butterfly belly button piercing. He just had to take it out. Yeah, I still have it. <laughs> uh, if you see Bobby Martinez, ask to see his back tattoo. He actually has a tramp stamp. The oh, really? only male I know that has a tramp stamp tattoo. Really? Yeah. Is that word also, or just it, it, it's kind of now kind of like blobbed together? Tribal, like 
looking thing. No, no, he actually has a tribal tattoo as well. We we did a we did a live recording at Bordeaux Wine Bar and it came up and oh. he stood up and showed everybody. So we'll see if we can do it. That's him still not it. the best tattoo I've ever heard of. What was what oh. was the best one? The best tattoo is uh Lambo. Oh, shit happens. The shit happens. Have you seen on it? The, on the sh- on, on the chest, chest. Filled it's bubble, bubble letters yeah, yes. filled in. Yes. No, that guy is <laughs> that guy is Lambo. Like yeah. I, <laughs> Like even then, like even I remember being in high school, going like, "Dude, makes a delicious pork chop it's with a funny guy." Glaze, but he is just—he's got that like creativity <laughs> going, and I, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I hope, I pray that everything just goes well in his life because he also he grows the mustache, he gets the the even the sweet looking. He had like back in the day, not back in the day, day, but like back in the day, he had a rat tail. Yeah, he had. Oh yeah, he had the rat tail. <laughs> back in the day, you got him to call his dealer so you could find out if you could get peyote. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I bet you can't get peyote, and then he's just on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> With a payphone? <laughs> no, he had his cell phone then. Oh, I got you. He was driving us to the mucks for some reason. I just like. Poking people, telling them they can't do pro- stuff. Prodding them. We got comped at the mucks for food we because did. of him. That, he yeah. got a, he gets a ton of comps. Yeah, there. he's like that guy plays craps a lot, but he's not there. He's in Arizona. Yeah, he's well, yeah, or New Mexico. This, or this is this, this is a while is years ago. ago. Yeah. Wow, uh, that brings up some painful memories <laughs> of losing money at the casino. So I appreciate that. <sighs> never, How, never got comped, huh? No, okay, so that's a you good, lose enough, you get comped. Okay, also, <laughs> listen to this. That's, that's, Hey, you got to have some type of comps. Listen to this. Okay, I'll get comped here and there. But did I tell you about my Vegas trip recently where I decided to play with a card? No. Okay, so while I'm there, I pay to go to Vegas like two or three times a year. And when I say I, I mean my wife. But we pay to go to Vegas at, like, at least like two or three times a year. This is the second time because you went. I went in February. And that's when you had the chicken story about going into the yes, chicken place. So exactly. this is a different. This, this, is, is, okay. this is coming up. Okay, so. While I'm there in February, I've never played with I've never played with a card. I will play at the Muckle Shoot with my card, my player's card, you know, where you get your you earn your points. Only if I'm winning. If I'm up, then it's like, well, if I lose some money, not a big deal. I'm gonna earn some points. Cause I'm always afraid if they they kind of track what you're winning. So I take that same mentality with me when I go to Vegas. I don't want to lose a player's card, I don't, you know, but I always lose in Vegas. So it really doesn't matter now. Plus I'm paying to go down there. So while I'm down there, we run into some friends from Safeway that uh, I used to work with. Jamie used to work with, and we're around there. And the guy was the guy that the, the husband of, of the worker that we used to work with, uh, she, or, or he, he had the floor come up to him and say, Hey, you ordered he's playing on this card. Hey, Mr. So and so, you've you like booked your trip through orbits or whatever. Next time Travelocity. <laughs> next time do it with us. Like just call us. You're you're a card member. You're an elite card member. We we can we upgrade you? They upgraded his room then and there. As soon as that happened. I'm like, you put your card in. <laughs> no, I'm like, give me a card, like, like right now. This is what this is. What have I been doing with my life? And so, as soon as they said elite, you were like, I'm in. I'm in elite. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I was Mr. EHS. <laughs> and uh, anyway, all elite. So, so Jamie and I, we played with that card for like another day and a half. Overall, we probably lost four hundred dollars in that day and a half. But we played for a while. We won here and there. That kept it going. We still lost the four hundred, but uh, which we were planning on losing anyways, right? You kind of have a budget of what you're going to plan on losing anyway. We get back then in March. We get offered a deal from not that ho- not that hotel, but the New York, New York free stay. You get to have to pay the resort fees. You got to pay for this. Three days ago. The Venetian, who we were playing with with that card, calls Jamie and says, hi, I'm so-and-so. I am your personal uh, rep because we got to – You have a concierge? We got to Elite. (laughs) Yeah. We got to Elite. I didn't didn't tell you guys that. We played enough to where we earned enough points to get get bumped. So we got bumped. So this guy calls up. He goes, hey, I saw saw that you guys have – have booked with a competitor and we would love to have you instead. You were playing with us. We hoped you had a good time. And she's like, yeah, it was a great time. Well, 
he's like, well, we want to get you into a suite. So he, he, he and, and then we're like, well, or Jamie's like, well, I'm not going to do that because I don't know. We, we, I really like the pool. I really want to be, you know, the pool over here. Well, we just revamped our pool. And, and so anyway, uh, she's like, yeah, I don't know. It was free over there. We have to pay our resort fees. You don't have to pay resort fees with us. So we we got upgraded to a suite. We were in like this like little smaller hotel room uh, at the MGM. Now we're in the su- in a suite at uh, the Venetian. It's coming up here in a few weeks. We got a pool. We got a uh, what's that? The ca- cabana. You got a cabana boy and a boy. Hopefully, <laughs> it's probably that guy you talked to on the phone. He's probably in your room <laughs> I mean, too. He's just working hard for us. Like, <laughs> All right, you guys said yes. You show up there, he's we gonna be in your room waiting you're, for you. You're his white whale. We, we don't have to pay resort fees. Uh, there's a listener that doesn't want to be told. I don't. I don't know if he wants me to tell about it, or maybe he does. Well, he told me not to say too much about it. But while I was there in February, when he found out I was there, he's like, "Hey, you should go check out Hugo's Wine Cellars or Hugo Cellars uh, in Old Town. It's like an old timey steakhouse." Where you go into like the cellar of a of a building, and it's darkly lit. Uh, the woman that you bring gets a rose, gets a flower. You get you candlelit dinner. They do the salad cart next to you. It's like an old school, vibe, like an like old school, like a vibe, mafia yeah. type thing. Yeah. So anyway, he said, you know, tr- try and do that. Well, when I called them, they're like, we're booked for like the next month and a half. Sorry. And they're only open from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Just a dinner. Just a dinner. And so uh, I I booked that. So I'm going to go there and uh, ex- excited. I guess it's pretty. I guess it's pretty expensive. But I think you should go live you know, from we'll there. <laughs> Just ruin my <laughs> ru- ruin the romantic. Hey, hot on. Hey, say hi. Say hi, Facebook. Me and my wife. Hey guys, here from the famous Hugos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I would. You might get free stuff out of it for plugging them. You never know. I would. I, yeah, they're like, sir, they're. Sorry. I'm in a, probably a seller. Probably have no reception. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, you were supposed to check your phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and not only that, it's like uh, uh, you're not live at all. It's just, and I think I am. It's just, <laughs> you know, just making anything. I would go live. I tried going live today, but Desi B said who was going to be on the live recording. She said she's going to be there. She didn't show up. But Craig did. Thank you, Craig. I, I appreciate you for that. That was very cool. Happy anniversary to the Enum Claw discussion board. Year, I saw you were live, but I was at work. So, did you call a huddle? I should have huddle by the Baylor. Like, Travis wants to tell you guys something. <laughs> <laughs> this is because of Brandon and Renee's idea of like make your own uh, page. It's showtime. There was those two that said go for it. Oh, really? That who's yeah? Okay, that's hey, positive spe- influence. Yeah, if Brandon, if you're the if you're the godfather of Brandon's kid, would you get a tattoo of the of the kid's name? Probably not. Do you want to be the? Godfather? I don't want any. I don't want any name. Like it's, it's weird for me to okay make, face name. Did you want the face of Brandon's face? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been weird about tattoos in general for some reason. About getting any tattoos, so. But you're kind of an artistic guy. Yeah, I, I guess I I don't know if I think too much into it because I know some people just, just like getting tattoos. Right? Are you are you afraid you're just gonna get addicted? Next thing you know, you're on TMZ as like the tiger guy, where you <laughs> yeah. got like. I'm telling you, it's all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the first the first one's gonna cost me like ten grand. It's gonna be the full body tattoo. Full body, full body, full body. Full, it's just a cast. <laughs> <laughs> just your body, and then you, and then you put you put the question mark on your face. You 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 are the guy. <laughs> like this was a great decision for the rest of my life. <laughs> and Chad's like, oh, I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, we're gonna close the shop. <laughs> you think the women are gonna like this? I just have a tattoo of a cast for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's gonna work. Yeah. He. he Corey comes in. He's like, "Hey, I got a big announcement to tell everyone." He does. He's got like a hood on. He's got shades on. I can't see. And I was like, "Yeah, me too." Hey, guys, we're gonna go ahead and close it up. This is our last episode. You know, we had a really good run. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> what, what, what was yours, Corey? Corey's just. How much do you think this tattoo removal is gonna cost? <laughs> uh, do you care if I just go ahead and keep the brand going <laughs> for my own personal reasons? <laughs> Oh, that would be that would take so. Do you think the tattoo artist would like just be like, nah, 
we shouldn't do that. Like, or if he's like, ah, oh, that, oh he's gonna be like, hey, you got ten thousand dollars, and you're like, yeah, they're like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, I'm getting paid. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah. not, you're not drunk. No, all right, we're good. Yeah, if you brought your car into somebody and you're like, hey, I want to get hydraulics, and it's a, uh, it's a Chevy Spark. It's small, but I want big rims, and the, the big like, yeah, but it's not. You a, got money? It's not. <laughs> it's not me going. I want a tattoo of a of a cast over my body for what? Well, it's for a podcast. Is it your podcast? No, it's just one I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if anyone does decide to get a small, like you don't think a big one, you should be the first one to start it. I'm not gonna get a tattoo of my own show. That's like that is like getting a tattoo of like your kids' names on your own body or your family crest. <laughs> oh, hey, Craig. <laughs> hey, he researched that family crest to make sure. What? What was it? A Bentley symbol. Yes, the car. It's just like the car. Just, it was it's it? The, it's the I thought eagle. about <laughs> I thought about that getting the Bentley car with the wings across my back, so it looks like its wings are coming out of my shoulder. But then the you realize Bentley it was logo. for the Eagles, and you would somehow morph it into the Colts. It'd be just two Colt legs coming out instead of. You should get, I told him he should get a horseshoe. You get a, a blue horseshoe. Nobody's gonna know the difference. Yeah, it's no. for luck. Right. Luck retired, and I was sad still. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> the only reason he said it yeah <laughs> rivers of luck <laughs> but you don't really care about rivers <laughs> nope wentz wentz all, all pro it's all about wentz to the pro bowl that's so exciting for you no, i even We're, bought a wentz shirt the, I, it's coming in the mail <laughs> not even a jersey not yet <laughs> I don't be, not yet i don't want to be that committed <laughs> i i will do i will say this if uh, I got a if, shirt, if Mariano Rivero goes to his Chinese dealer and gets the cheap jerseys again, I'm in on a West jersey for thirty dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, that kid is sketchy. <laughs> he's like the nicest kid who's like kind of super sketch. He's he's a smart dude. He is a smart guy. Uh, are you? Do you have a West jersey? I have a. <laughs> I have a Wentz t-shirt. <laughs> he wouldn't even commit the whole time he was at the Eagles. <laughs> got a Foles jersey, though. <laughs> I got a Cunningham jersey. That's all I need. Nice. That's good. Get, yeah, get the one that's retired. You know what? I got Brandon talked into if we get those jerseys, that he'll get a Colts jersey because he, like, he likes Wentz. I'm going to make another Colts fan. Wow. Yeah. Is he going to do the the jersey just rip in half where it's going to be half Eagles <laughs> Wentz, <laughs> half Colts Wentz? That should be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool, Craig. You should do that too. Everybody, everybody should do that if you're an Eagles fan or a, or a Colts fan. Or well, nah. Yeah, <laughs> you're a Colts fan. Full Colts jersey. <laughs> <laughs> it's either all or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> would you get Would you get a jersey tattooed where it looks like you're wearing a jersey <laughs> and it's luck on the back? Uh, but, uh, yeah, That's, I was gonna say, of who would it be? It'll be luck. It'd have to be luck. Why wouldn't it be Manning? I was a bigger Manning fan than a mm. Luck fan. That's a lot of ink. That is a lot of ink. That's a lot of filling in. You like sitting there going, "Oh, you're getting a you're, you're getting a way jersey, <laughs> just a full on blue one." I was thinking like a white one where you could just like maybe just do it the, wouldn't look right because my skin isn't completely that pale. You'd have to shave and just never. <laughs> what uh, which jerseys were they wearing that they were had the peach color? I don't I don't know what jersey that was. <laughs> no, it's real. They it's, had one. Yeah, it's not a bad idea though. Um, I think you should just sell somebody on getting a full buddy tattoo, dude. If anyone gets a full buddy tattoo, free Patreon. No, <laughs> no, I still need your money for that. <laughs> they no, got a, they got a tattoo on their body. Uh, I'll figure something out. Like maybe, yeah, I'm kind of kicking around Patreon idea ideas. I got Edrid helping me out, trying to figure things out with me as we uh, go in the next level with these Patreons. We're almost at double digits. Shout out to all the Patreons, Kellen, Eric, uh, I already said Cassie, Casey, and uh, Amanda, but also Holly, Desi, Seth, and my brother. That's nine. I was going to say, you remember all these off the top of your head? Yeah. What's the other one? You said 10, right? I said nine, almost in double digits. Corey, Corey Bentley, he's going to jump on there soon. Uh, But yeah, we're thinking about doing some perk perk ideas uh, with sponsors or maybe even with the show. Perhaps you come on if you if you at some tier, then maybe you get like two we'll, episodes. Or you come on, be a guest. With we'll what, take you with, to dinner with whoever you want to be with. We'll go buy you a, a, a Holbeck Chalupa. Chalupa. Yeah, I, the new thing though, and, and other people didn't know this, and I I kind of put it out there today, and Andy confirmed it. No one knew that I was doing this for years, but uh, I with Mazatlan, 
full body cast special, Travis Kenny special, whatever you want to call it. It's chips, salsa, bean dip, and two waters as soon as you sit down. And so if you don't, if you I think get, you've been doing that since you were a kid. Exactly. If you, if you guys That's get, yeah, time. if you guys get, I think I had, I've been building this thing and this building this brand took, I thought, I thought about this early on. It's the TK special. Yeah, it was, I, I went to, you know, I was doing this book it thing with the big button thing when I was at pizza hut and I'm like, you know what? I don't, I'm not really into pizza that much. I need to figure out what I need to do Craig to, never got to get into the, I did. <laughs> all you gotta do is, all you gotta do is sign off. <laughs> I did this many hours. <laughs> but anyway, it's, it's that. And then other, other restaurants stole it from us. But, um, and, and none of the proceeds, I don't pay for it. They still decided to, like Andy said, hey, we'll just kick it in ourselves. Like, that's what sponsors do. So chips, salsa, bean dip, and two waters. Uh, if you have a third, yeah, they can get a water too. Thank you. And you're welcome. Yeah. For that, buy so. two get one free. I, I'd, I'd like to say thank you because I was there last weekend and I got that. Okay, cool. I didn't realize it. That, was you. it is. It's oh, full body cast. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, we kind of like, keep it hush It's hush. like a never ending chip bowl too. It is. It, it, yeah. Well, what I've learned is, and then we, me and Andy have kind of talked about this as well. Uh, they come out uh, hot and fresh yeah. on the first couple bowls. But you kind of, if people are just there just to, to kind of like take from that chip bowl they constantly, go to a different, different they go water. to the cold one, yeah. not warmed up and stale. Yeah. And I've, you know, I've hit that limit. Every, so you, know, as well. you got to get three, three is the limit then? Three, it's almost like two and then you get into that. Get into See, I think, yeah. I think you can get as much as you want until your food comes and then you can't get any more. I think you get one with the food because you got to dip eh, those chips. In I with agree. The you got to plan with that. You got to plan for you that. You got to get the chips dipped in the beans and rice. I, wow. That is actually a good good question. I wish I could read thoughts <laughs> and just kind of see what the waiter's saying. Like, oh man, this bastard's getting another freaking chips, aren't they? Damn it! All but right, you're not sitting there just eating chips and salsa. Like you ordered food. Yeah, but so st- that, like you you're paying the money to be there. Yeah, that's true. But I don't think they're making bank off of a chip. The chip thing. Whoever came up with the chip thing, no one else does it. Every once in a while, you'll go to like a like an expensively nice restaurant, and they'll bring free bread out with some dipping oils and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But you know you're going to spend like $20, 30 bucks on your meal, yeah. and they're going to kind of recover some of that cost. Uh, the Mexican restaurant, you're still going to pay $8.99 for that chimichanga. I mean, like, or $12, $12.15 for your two enchiladas and taco. They're not really making it back up. And I kind of feel I kind of feel bad. I think it's part of the experience. It draws people in there. It's because somebody else did it, and now it's and now it's like okay, that is like I you see, have to do that. Now. I could see if you do it, and then like you go in and you're just ordering. It's like right, I'll take beans and rice, and then can I get eight things of chips, please? <laughs> <laughs> but that's what you had to do when you're when you're ordering to go. You order to go. They don't give you the chips and salsa and that. You have to actually order that, that. I'd like to know how many people go down there because uh, Jared Skelly used to do this. Is how many people go in there and order a steak? You know, because he we would go there after like basketball. And we're like, ah, I feel, everybody feels like next, and he would be like, I just want a steak. I'm like, <laughs> and he would get that straight up steak. Yeah, like not like a thin one that he. It was up. always like steak or a hamburger. It was like never would get the the actual burritos or anything. I heard that the steak at the Mazatlan was the best steak in town. Is it? That's what I heard. I haven't done it I yet. I was so ready for having the burrito that I wanted that I never once steak. Dude, isn't it funny how you're like, you're like always thinking, I'm going to get a hamburger here. Someone else said that the hamburger is, is like the bomb there. Really? And then you get there and you sit and you have some chips and you're like, I don't want to order any of that. Yeah. I just want to get my enchiladas or my burrito and mm-hmm. I'm happy. What's your go-to meal, Craig, at a Mexican restaurant? You know what's funny is <clears throat> for years it was always taco salad. Because I used to get extra salsa, and I'd, I'd love to take the shell and eat Just it crunch afterwards. crunch it up. And, yeah. But now I go Super Burrito. Yeah, those are good. Super like Burrito. Carne asada burrito. That's what I just got last yeah. weekend with Super Burrito. Really? I've had, I've had the Hollenbeck Chalupa, but I, I went with Super Burrito this last time. Yeah, that's good. That's because we want to get you uh, its own thing. <laughs> oh, is that what it is? Yeah. The Craig Super Burrito. I'm the yeah. salsa. Just, cor- just, cor- a, just call it the Bentley burrito. Then you get oh, the two for the one special. Bentley burrito, <laughs> two, for the two for one, one special. Bentley burrito. You get <laughs> so two. Yeah. If someone shows up, yeah. wow. Yeah, you got to talk to Andy about that one. I don't know if that's going to happen though. Uh, you already got the TK special with chips and yeah. Well, it's the it's just what happens when you're sponsored. So. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. wait, any shout outs before we go? I I like to give another shout out to Tanner. I don't know. Nick Tanner. Nick Tanner. Yeah, we'll. Let us know when your next uh, next thing goes. I'm sure I'll know when your next concert is. But uh, did I enjoyed being there, and I know a lot of everybody had fun that was there. So that's my shout out. 
Uh, I want to shout out Sean because he's been working on some sweet logos and stuff for the softball team. Cool Street sponsoring us. So it's going to be pretty sweet when it comes out. So I want to thank him for doing all that work and getting stuff ready. I want to shout out the new people that jump on this page. Our, our The Full Body Cast page has blown up uh, recently. For a long time, it was kind of sitting at sitting at 80 people. And then like one year, it got up to 120 people. And that's where it kind of sat for a little bit, 121, 122. Then Sean decided to like invite 4,000 people. And now we're at 560. And these people like have to accept it. Like it's not... Like he throws the invite and the, and people aren't leaving yet. And that's the other cool thing. It's like, sometimes I, I'm always afraid that someone's going to get on here and go like, Oh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> There's this ma- mass exodus and I'm back down to 120, <laughs> but no, it's kind of hung on there. And a few people have liked it and, uh, just appreciate the, the support with that. So kind of, kind of gives the old, the old boost. And then I'll say, Hey, I'm going to go live. And then like six people like it. And then nobody jumps on the, the, the Facebook live, even though they said they're going to be there. And then I just, except for Andy, shout out Andy. And then I move over to the Uniqlo discussion board, shout out for Craig, get on there. So that's cool too. No shout out to Corey. Uh, <laughs> thanks everyone for listening. Go Somebody's ahead. He's got to be working. <laughs> I, I keep... was working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watch, you were watching another class on the computer. <laughs> Someone's got to keep this world moving. Um, all right. But stay safe with those vaccines. You've been surveyed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. D- do not drugs. And. <laughs> <laughs> Survey says do not drugs. <laughs> You've been surveyed. Do not drugs. Oi, oi. <laughs>